Hi, Harold Hansen here with Healing Free Dog School. Username Healing Free, H E E L I N G F R E E. And this is going to be a short video about a smarter and safer way to hold on to the leash. Uh, I had a gentleman come to class right after I started. I started in 1976 doing classes, and I had a fellow come in a year or two after I started. And what he did was he had a big Samoyed, and he had his hand through the leash like this and he had it wrapped around his wrist like this and he came into class and he said my darn dog pull me down the stairs I thought well that's going to be pretty easy for the dog to do if you have this wrapped around your hand now people think well I've got to have a secure grip now I'm going to show you a really smart secure grip that's going to be a lot safer than wrapping it, uh, wrapping it around your wrist what we're going to do instead of wrapping it around our wrist we're going to take our right thumb and we're going to place the loop of the leash on our right thumb like this and then we're going to close our hand and we're going to put our hand on our belt buckle so if your dog starts pulling you this direction what you can do is and I like to have people not only close their right hand and lock it against their belt buckle but take their left hand and hold it on top of the right I think of this as hugging a football because what we don't want to do is we don't want to try to pull and wrestle and tug and yank on the dog particularly if the dog is a strong one and it's going to be tipping us over this way so what we would do is if the dog started going in that direction what you can do is you can simply turn around and head off in this direction is this effective you bet I actually had a woman take a class she had a 180 pound Newfoundland named Humphrey she said that she weighed 105 pounds so the dog outweighed her by 75 pounds and she was actually able to control him by using this grip plus the idea of using her entire body weight. Now the nice safer aspect of this is if your dog is going to run down the stairs faster than you can, you can simply open your hand, dump the slack out and then run down the stairs and say, I'm going to have to go catch you, but it's better than me getting pulled down the stairs and having to go to the hospital. So what we're going to do is, again, we're going to use our thumb through the loop, both hands on our belt buckle like this. <clears throat> One of the other strategies that I like to do is think of, I like to think of this as north-south. So if my dog starts running north that way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an about face turn. I'm going to keep my hands locked on my belt buckle like this, and I'm going to turn around and head off in the opposite direction. Let's say that I were just standing, and all of a sudden I saw, uh, my dog saw a cat. And I thought, oh, my dog is looking at the cat, and the dog might go after the cat. And so what I would do is I would not stand here like this and do what I call the water ski dump. I've only had the pleasure of water skiing one time, and they uh, forgot to tell me to let go uh, when the rope tightens and you don't get up on the water skis. And I got a real good shampoo with my head <laughs> going through the water like that. So what we want to do instead of that, what we want to do is, as soon as the dog looks this direction, instead of standing here and being potentially into the position of getting dumped over this way, what I do is, as soon as I see a dog looking this way, I step back this way. See? Now I'm blocked a lot more solidly like this. This way, if the dog starts moving in that direction, I can simply turn around and step out. So this is a really good smart leash grip. You can use this on your uh, six foot leash. You can use it on the long line and extension leash. Uh, not, not the kind that pull out and go back, but uh, if you have like a 30 foot uh, or 15 foot long line that you're using, uh, again, thumb through the loop, close your hand, both hands on your belt buckle. One of the little things you can do is have somebody, if, if you have somebody who will help you, have them come up, sneak up behind you and grab the leash, the line like this and pull it and snap it and what you'll hear besides the snap swivel bouncing around on the ground because it'll be hooked to your dog what you'll hear is a slapping sound and you'll also feel yourself rocking a little bit this way that's actually good because what that means is you're keeping your hands against yourself rather than trying to arm horse the dog and pull the dog people say oh well my arm hurts and my shoulder hurts. well it shouldn't if you're holding this thing against yourself and using your entire body weight, you can really handle a big dog a lot easier than trying to simply hold them like this. Okay, thanks for watching. This is Harold Hansen with Healing Free Dog School. 
and um, I, if you have any comments, please feel free to uh, leave them uh, in the comment section. Thanks.